All right, Tayden, uh, I mean, you get to keep playing for at least one more night. I'm sure that's got to feel good. Just tell me about this win and, and the thoughts on tonight. I told everybody before the game that us seniors aren't ready to go. Uh, none of us want to go. We talked about it before the game, and everybody just wants to keep playing. So us winning tonight really gave us some confidence and getting us ready for Saturday. It's tough to beat a team three times. Uh, speak to having to, and in a lot of ways, they play a similar style to you guys too, so speak to having to see them a third time. Uh, it was very scary to see them a third time because Spangler is a very good player, and so is Dukes and Lorimore. They're all very good baseball players. So we know if we didn't show up to play them, then they're going to give us a run for our money. But uh, they had one little go around where it was about 5-3, I think it was, and then we got some insurance runs at the end, and that helped us out a lot. You drive in a run, uh, you had a couple hits, you score three times. What are your thoughts on how you performed offensively? I'm very pleased with how I performed tonight. Uh, the five games before this, I was in a hitting slump, so I was in the cage, I was working, I was trying to figure out what I needed to do to hit that outside pitch, and I finally found it, <clears throat> and it felt really good to hit that outside pitch tonight. Offensively, what, I mean, what were you seeing? What was kind of your, your approach at the plate that set you up for success? The ball was looking really big tonight. Uh, I was sitting curveball, but I was ready for a fastball. <clears throat> and yeah, that's how my hitting was. Having the responsibility of being the leadoff hitter, I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't want any way be, in any way being a senior, right? But I mean, puts a lot of pressure on you as well. I love batting leadoff. I have batted leadoff for Coach Ebb for the past five years. I've been playing for him. It's I just like taking pitches. I like making the pitcher work. So <laughs> I get to start it off well with a walk usually or something like that. So it's just I like leadoff said you, you weren't ready to be done. Uh, you get one more at least. What do you guys have to do to make sure you get more than one? Uh, we just got to take it one game at a time. We can't get our heads over our shoulders. We just got to keep going, keep working, and keep playing our game. Creighton Tuzio, James McCall, pitch Clarinda to a win over Shenandoah. Uh, gentlemen, you know, quite the game tonight, and you guys are able to come out on top. James, we'll just start with you. Tell me ab about this win and being able to extend your season. Uh, it's nice getting a next game out there and advancing. Graydon, what are your thoughts? Uh, yeah, I think we came out and just competed, whether we were high, whether we were low, just staying in the game and, you know, competing until the last inning. Seeing a team like them the third time, I think in some ways maybe the styles are similar between you guys. You know, how kind of – were there any sort of nerves with that? Or I mean, what were kind of the thoughts on seeing them a third time? Yeah, you always hear, like, it's hard to beat a team three times, but we're, we're just confident in ourselves and confident in our teammates, and we know that if we play our best ball, we'll come out with a win. James, you get the start tonight. Uh, you get the win as well out of that. Overall, kind of what are your thoughts? How are you feeling about how you pitched tonight? Uh, I didn't pitch that great, but a win's a win. Gave up a lot of base hits and walked, walked a lot of people. What do you feel you did well, uh, though, tonight? Uh, I hit some spots, pounded the zone, kind of. <laughs> when things were down in for you, what were the pitches that were working? Fastball, just trying to get back in the rhythm with the fastball. Creighton, you come in, uh, they're late, able to hold on. Just kind of take us through your night pitching. Uh, yeah, I came in. James held, James gave us a great lead going in, so I just knew that if I came in through strikes, through fastballs hard, that you know we'd have a good chance to come out with a win, and that's what I did. You've kind of shifted from that starter to more of like a reliever slash closure uh, this year. What has that been like for you? How, how have you felt about that? Uh, I like it. Just any role that helps the team win, I'm willing to do it. James and all of the rest of our starters, they do a great job giving me leads when I go into close. So I, I feel really comfortable going in just knowing I just have to throw strikes. What were the pitches that were working for you tonight? Just fastballs. I knew that they'd be late on fastballs, so it's either going to be weak contact or weak contact, or they weren't just going to hit it. I think like eight batters left on base over the last four innings for them. What were the things that you guys were doing uh, that you felt like were good when they had runners on? Uh, just bearing down, putting balls in the zone, and trusting the people behind me, my infielders, that they're going to make plays because that's what they do every game. James, you had to work out of a couple jams as well. Uh, in those situations, what's going through the mind? Just pound the zone, try to get my team in the dugout and get the bats going. On to Saturday, a uh, familiar foe in Red Oak for a third time. Um, the rubber match, so to speak. What's kind of the thoughts that into that one? Uh, stay aggressive. We gotta, can't leave runners on base like we have been. we got to start hitting them in more. Graydon, how are you feeling heading to that one? Go in, execute, play our best ball, and then we know we'll come out with a win. All right, Coach. Uh, I mean, they're, they're a tough out, and they gave you guys a fight, but just able to hold on tonight. What, what are your thoughts? That was a very good high school baseball game. Shane came out, swung the bats well. They played defense really good. Um, I thought they played really good tonight, and we were able to battle and compete every inning, and 
battle through some adversity and found a way to hang on. Offensively, uh, I mean, nothing like super flashy, but it just seemed like run here, run there for you guys. What stood out to you in that regard? Just that we kept adding on every inning, and every time Shan would uh, make a little run on us, we'd answer back that same inning. And uh, it was, like I said, it was just a really good high school baseball game, and I thought we uh, battled at the plate really well and put the ball in play. Start the night with James pitching. Uh, well, let's start with him. What did you like from him? Uh, James is James. He's going to attack the zone and uh, be around it. I, don't, I didn't think he had his best stuff. I've seen him have all year. Um, some of that's a tribute to Shan's hitters. Uh, they did a great job of fouling pitch off, of pitch after pitch off, and uh, making him get deep in counts. And that was why we had to take him out there uh, after the fifth inning. And but he battled and competed for us like he always does. And uh, uh, he doesn't usually give uh, extra outs by walking people or hitting people. So very excited with how he pitched and kept battling. Then Creighton comes in the last couple innings uh, and able to hold them off. Speak to what he did. Uh, Creighton's got a little velocity on it, and uh, when he's around the zone, he's pretty tough to hit. Um, but my little meeting when I went out there with him was about, hey, you got to pitch still. Um, there's good hitters all through our conference in the Hawkeye 10, and um, they showed that they were going to hit the fastball in the sixth inning. and So he at least had to show a little bit of something else. But once he got in the groove and locked in, it was, it was pretty good to see. I think over the last four innings, they left like eight on base. Had them loaded once, a couple on, a couple different times. For Creighton or James, whoever was out there, to be able to hold on and, and kind of work around that, how, how big was that? Well, that was the game. That was the difference. Um, we left eight or nine on two tonight, but we were able to get some some breaks a little bit with a few uh, wild pitches uh, that scored runs for us. And I thought us limiting mistakes and not allowing them to. Uh, get runs the easy way. They had to earn everything they got, and uh, that was kind of the difference in the game. Round three with Red Oak on Saturday. Uh, I mean, what are the initial thoughts on that? It's going to be another another battle with them. Uh, I always enjoy uh, going against Coach Erickson. Uh, his teams are always well prepared, and it'll it'll be a battle in district final, and that's that's what it should be in a district final. It should be a good game. So, looking forward to the competition part of it, but uh, I'm sure my nerves will be a little fried between now and Saturday, but uh, very excited about the matchup.